Dear Fossil, you are pretty awesome. That's the fossil there. That's what I'm talking about. You're pretty awesome. I'm currently with the beautiful Rochelle, who's holding my walking stick for me. <laughs> that tests the ground as we walk, because we came down the ravine. If you remember, about a year ago, I posted a video um, about, like, at the top of the ravine, looking down at my parents' uh, campsite, at their summer home, I should say. And, uh, and I shot down the ravine and said, one day I want to go down there. Well, this is us down here. You can see that we're actually in basically a hole in the ground. And I used to come here like for the last 15, 16, 17 years, I was coming down here. But I haven't, like, well, I mean, 17 years ago, I started coming down here. But for the past, like, I don't know, four or five years, I haven't been down. And everything's changed. Like, this whole creek is double wide. And it used to be a creek on this side and a creek on this side. And then a, a shale, like, slate bridge in between. And now it's like completely changed, just erosion and nature and stuff. And this all used to be trees, but they've all fallen. And this was a little island and now it's become so much bigger. And there was a tree that had fallen and blocked this over. It, it fell right from up there and fallen across. And now it's completely gone. I think that's so neat. And I originally wanted to come out here to shoot uh, Halloween adventure shots, but we found a really nice place in Niagara. So we shot there, but this is just the coolest thing. We've got a tree house. If you walked up there and headed to the left, you'd find a tree house in the woods. We can't get there right now as it's really muddy over the hill. So we can't get there right now. But this is like my element, man. I used to love coming down here. This tree is also looking like it's about to fall. Looking, it's growing into the side of the embankment here. One year, maybe next year, maybe two years from now, it's gonna fall and it's just gonna be so cool. But what do you think? You enjoying it down here? It was tiring getting down here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You're walking down like almost a cliff. So, but this is the coolest thing ever. Like we once built, Rochelle, we, my, my friend Mikkel, who uh, was in Chimera actually, we once built, uh, we started building a fort on the water. And what we would do is we would go into the fort and we would be able to lock it up and stuff. And we'd dip these big screens that we had into the water and we'd leave them there overnight. And the next morning we'd come along and we'd pull them up and we'd full of minnows because they would eventually get used to the fact that there was a screen in the water and they'd start swimming over top of it. So when you pulled it up, you had like two dozen minnows in it. And we used to use those as bait to catch fish. I'm sorry for any, you know, animal cruelty people, but you know, people, <laughs> fishy, smaller fish, it's just kind of how it works. Um, but like I said, I'm so happy to be down here because I, I was so happy that Rochelle convinced me to come down here. But now we need to head back up. But it's just, it's such an awesome place just to watch. Like, like human beings didn't do this. I mean, I know I see some garbage there, but I mean, human beings didn't make this mess. Like nature changes. And this is kind of the, I guess this is the destruction phase. And then they're going to have a non-destruction phase, you know, <laughs> it's gonna, all going to regrow. And it's, it's really cool. This is a really awesome place. And like I said, I'm kind of in my element. But anyways, oh, there's some kind of animal back there. Oh, well. and there's a bee down there. Anyways, that's it. Um, clap your thumbs if you believe. Extra love from one of my favorite places in the entire world. And uh, Jimmy Smash.